Hey there Aquarius, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. We are taking a look at what's going on with you lately. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Knight of Pentacles is the most prepared and the slowest knight. This is saying you're prepared for what's coming and action will be required to be taken. This is not moving, not moving. In reverse is saying, hey, you need to start moving. Something is going to need some action and attention. You're prepared and ready for whatever this is that's coming your way. Let's do a little look and see. This is for the Aquarius Collective. Cross watchers are welcome. And check your moon and rising sign also. It's a general read. Let's see what's going on for the next week to 10 days of April. All right. We're going to take this slow. This knight is here. We're taking this a little bit slow. We've got the Two of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Swords. Two of Cups is about perfect partnership, equal pairing, equal offerings, coming and making a commitment, making a partnership, making a plan, and having it be equitable, equal. It's almost stronger than the lovers. Something's a little off kilter here when it's in reverse. Something isn't quite adjusted. It doesn't mean that it's not equal. It's just not quite there. As far as timing goes, that could be something a little bit different. You have this night that's slow and this other night that's rushing. These slowest, fastest, right? So the partnership isn't there yet. This is striking me as a timing issue love is there to be offered it's ready to be offered there is timing that needs to happen somebody needs just a little more time and sometimes we forget this when we're looking at these things and we think well, what's happening for me and i want it on my time frame and it it's not on your time frame yet babes so okay see time to take action for you this one charging in ahead somehow there's a timing issue knight of swords is coming in charging ahead with truth good communication and ready to go so I don't know whether it's you or your other or what, but or maybe it's all an internal struggle where you want to go, but you don't. You want to go, but you don't. That kind of thing. Let's see what else is going on in this week. We're going to check out this chunk of the week coming up. So this is current moving forward, right? Okay, Aquarius. Coming up. I know those two want to come out, those three. Let's take a look at those. See what's going on. Really? <laughs> okay. All right. So, karma here is in the space of judgment, in rebirth, in second chances. Something is definitely shifting. There is lessons, there is rebirth, there's asking to be in your higher self going on. There's the king of cups and the cup here. The cups are all about love, emotion, overflowing emotion. King of Cups is great when there's turbulence. You can see the waves crashing around, but he's totally stable. He's like not phased at all. So whatever this emotional disturbance, disruption, turbulence is, you need to stabilize your own emotions on this. You need to get yourself stable. There's love overflowing. It could be a very emotional lesson, emotional time for you coming up. Be aware that stability is there. And then there's second chances. This is good. This is good. Let's see what's going forward into the next little bit so this is where we're at kind of theme of the read moving in for the first half of the next week to 10 days and into the second half of the next week to 10 days Ooh. okay guys wow okay rock and roll all right so this is what's coming up for you this is an offering a gift from the universe a gift from the divine this is a material gift, but it's also tangible in time, resources, golden opportunities, those kinds of things. The essence of the material realm going right, <laughs> okay? You have the King of Swords here. King of Swords, sometimes a little bit too cold, sometimes thinking long-term a little overly much and sometimes rigid. He's upright. He's just thinking long-term. He's trying to be objective. This is very logic, logic, um, head over heart, and sometimes a little bit too much on that but really wants to protect. The, the thing with the King of Swords to remember is why is he so staunchly taking the stance that he is? Usually it's because he wants to protect what he values, right? So this is where that is. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that just fine. All right, Five of Pentacles in reverse. This period of feeling lack, this barrenness, this um, separateness and nobody gives a rip type of feeling. And sometimes this is an abandonment, cold, out in the cold, isolation, um, just sometimes even forgotten. It's in reverse. 
So it's like the snow is coming to melt. The thaw is happening. It's in reverse. There's a thaw happening. This is this is to do with this. All right, then, awesome, awesome. We have the Page of Pentacles kicking in. Page of Pentacles is so ready. You have the Knight here. So those Page, Knight, Queen, King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Page is like student, a lesson, a little bit shy, a little enthusiastic. If she were in a performance on stage, she would be kind of timid and hiding behind the curtain, but really ready to go. So the stage just before you're settled up and ready to go. You need to take some action. Action is going to be required. A risk is going to be required. It's going to feel like an emotional risk, but it's a, a valuable lesson, a very, very valuable lesson coming up. Then you have the lovers. This is fabulous. The lovers is about choices, following your heart's desire. Sometimes it's very much about a pair, about the lovers, about these guys being off kilter, decisions being made, second chances and choices and moving forward. Then the queen of cups in reverse. So the queen of cups in reverse. Queen of cups normally is looking, reflecting, understanding the love lessons that are costly and valuable and sometimes painful and difficult and hard. And in this reverse, it might be that there's disruption in the force. It might be she's disrupted or too focused on the past and needs to look forward. Upright, she's ready to move past the reflecting. It's just a moment of pause. But you have the king and queen here, so balanced. You have the lovers here. You have the two of cups here. This is a very, very good time. This is a time where the challenge is to let your heart open up a little bit more, okay? Let some of this ice melt away. Allow for second chances. Allow for rebalancing. We're going to look at another deck here. I think we're going to... Which one do we have? Which deck do I want to look at? You know what? We're going to look at the gilded. We're going to see what the Gilded has, if there's any words of advice or heads up kind of things you should maybe be aware of or things that might come your way unexpectedly and surprise you, take you off guard, those kinds of things. <laughs> okay, guys, 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 this is an interesting turn of events. So you have the Hierophant. This is opening your heart, right? This is a spiritual lesson and also a... a a new learning, spiritual growth, traditional spiritual, and also seeking more answers. Sometimes you're going to the faith that you were born in. Sometimes you're being called for more training, more institutional training, learning, that kind of a thing. But more lessons, you're seeking more knowledge, okay? King of Wands, well, opposite of King of Swords. <laughs> you have very strong masculine energy kicking in here. And the Knight of Pentacles, of course. All right, so King of Wands. In reverse, it's too ego-driven, too much about himself, too much about I want, I want, I want, and not what we want, we want. So ego is in the way. When the king of wands is upright, he's like the biggest promoter, the most enthusiastic. Everybody adores him, wants to be with him. He has a hard time sometimes making friends on a one-on-one -on -one basis. He doesn't have a problem getting people to his cause, but sometimes, because sometimes his ego gets in his way a little, he can't see... The perspective of others and needs a little bit of help with that then the knight of wands now these might be people you encounter situations you encounter things that are coming up also so be aware be aware knight of pentacles again we talked about it being in the reverse we're talking about it again in this version of the knight he is so so ready but the horse is in like almost parade wear it's not like ready to battle there's green fertility ready to go here and here but this one is in a more glory type of stage. Like, I don't know if he's off to joust or what, but this guy is ready. He's very, very prepared. He's prepared for new abundant times, new fertility. It's spring. Everything's going good. He's opening up and preparing. So this is what I've got for you. This is a good time. Let that fiery nature be there again. Let that melt away the snow a bit. Be prepared. Lean into the masculine, logical, sensible, but also allow for other timing to be in this. And then, oh good times. Okay, that's what I've got for you. Let me know how it resonates. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, come see me again. Bye-bye.